Hey guys, welcome to another Lockdown Devotion here from the Lighthouse Manchester. Hope everyone is doing good. I don't know how many of you remember how amazing summer was. We had glorious sunshine for most of the summer. But then a few weeks ago, uh, the rain started. And when, and when the rain started, I noticed I was getting a lot of water in my kitchen. I was getting puddles in my kitchen. You often get dripped on whilst you're eating your dinner or your breakfast. And I asked around and a few people said it could be my gutters. So I uh, filled my bath, emptied my bath and my gutters seemed okay. I even had a guy come look at my brickwork and he said that was fine as well. And I couldn't understand where the water was getting in. Then one day whilst eating breakfast with my seven-year-old Josie, I looked up and saw a huge bubble over her head. Um, there was a huge bubble in my ceiling and my ceiling was beginning to bow. Turns out the water was coming from the overflow of my system. So it was clean water, which is good, um, but it was causing a massive issues. My kitchen was beginning to bulge and droop and this small problem was about to give me a big problem. This small drip was about to give me a big problem. Now it's amazing to me how small things can create big things. This is one of the laws that God has built into the universe and we see it all the way through the Bible and even through nature. Everything that grows starts small and gets bigger. Seeds make trees, babies make adults, and big things are made from smaller things. Grains of sand make deserts, and even everything is made from tiny, tiny little ants. In scripture, we see that Jesus fed thousands of people with a few sandwiches. He told parables about managers and workers being rewarded for dealing faithfully with little things. Just as a quick overview, you can look at the parable of the dishonest manager in Luke chapter 16, the parable of the talents in Matthew 25, and the parable of the mustard seed in Mark chapter 4. And so often we end up waiting for God to do a big thing that we ignore the small thing that is happening right in front of us. Pastor Paul spoke a few months ago about how God unwhispers, and we expect God in the fireworks, um, and we fail to see the big and we fail to see the big dreams and visions that God has for us are made up of smaller things. We fail to see that those massive things God wants for us is made up from small things. If you want to be great for God at the big things, you have to be great at the small things. Can you be on time? Are you reliable and can you serve? These small things aren't small at all. They are the things that big things are made of. We're right now in a season where a tiny thing, so small that no one can see it, is having a big impact, a huge impact on how we are living. And although that is a negative, small positive changes can also make a huge impact. What small thing could you do today? What small change can you make? What small thing could you start? What small discipline can you begin? Think about the big thing what you want. What are the small things that you can do to get you there? Don't be upset by only having small things. Maybe 2020 you had big things planned and maybe you're mourning those things, either the things that you've lost or the things that you were hoping for. And maybe you're disappointed, isolated, angry, upset or frustrated. And maybe you want to throw the towel in. Maybe there is a bubble over your head that is about to burst. But there is hope for you, even though it might be small, so small you can't see it, so small you might even lose it. Don't give up. Small things make big things. In the book of Zechariah, Ze in the book of Zechariah, I'd say, in the book of Zechariah, God reminds us not to despise the day of small beginnings. God rejoices when the work starts, not just when it's finished. What small thing can you start today? Be encouraged in the small things you have and have an amazing week. Thanks very much.